Welcome to Five Sprockets. My name is Joe and I'm going to help you key out a green screen today using Final Cut Pro. So first thing you want to do is make a new timeline and put your clip in there that you shot with your green screen. This was done for a separate tutorial on how to build the actual green screen and shoot and set up lighting for it. So now we're going to key it out. Go ahead and double click it to get it into your viewer and go to effects, video filters, key, and then use the chroma keyer and then we'll click on that tab and right here you have the eyedrop and what you want to do is select that grab your lightest green and you'll notice that in our color selector it just grabbed that same color we did and you can select it again and then hold down the shift key and you'll notice you'll get a plus by the eyedropper and select your darker shade of green that you have on your back and then you're going to see that basically most of the green has gotten taken out of there and what you're going to use next is the luma and saturation and what these are the darker and lighter values of that color that you just keyed out so I know from experience I already did this that I'm going to pull this wide open and that's going to basically take out as much as we can part of the problem is that we didn't crop the camera angle enough so we didn't get all the green screen in so what I'm going to do is crop some of that down and I'll show you what I mean. You can use this key feature here and that'll show you that's everything that's left in in white and the black is keyed out and there's kind of our gunk we got to get rid of on the top there. And you'll see right there if I clicked that key again that's our normal view and click it one more time and there's our keyed out mat right there. So we'll go ahead and Go to motion, crop, and then we'll bring down the top just a little bit to get some of that out of there. And now I just took out that part that we accidentally shot. So next thing we're going to do is go back to chroma keyer and you can use this edge thin to get rid of some of this green edging here. So I'll pull that up and use the softening tool also. The softening, you'll notice when I bring that up, you, it really cuts into that edge a little bit so it blends into our background a little better and you can use the edge thin in accordance with the soft uh, just to get that a nice clean edging right there and if we hit render now we'll go ahead and see that's a rough version of what I want it takes a little while to get all of this down the saturation luma and some of your color so you'll have to work on that for a little bit but here's a final of that project right here that I used it for and this is the build a green screen uh, for five sprockets and you'll notice at the very end I had come through the screen but I made it come through fast so you don't see my head getting chopped off because we had cropped off the top so there's only two frames or so that really get cut off there anyways that's keying out a green screen